Hey, how? Wait a minute. Well, the boy is dumb enough to associate himself with the knife. Then, a moment after the murder, he becomes smart. The boy is smart enough to make the kind of wound that would lead us to suspect someone else. At the same instant, he is dumb enough to do the murder as an L train is going by, as someone from the L train could have seen him. Then, a moment after the murder, he becomes smart once more, smart enough to wipe the fingerprints away. To make this boy guilty, you have to say he is dumb from around 8 o'clock to midnight. Then around midnight, he is smart one second. Then dumb for a few seconds. Then he is smart once more. And then he becomes dumb. So dumb that he cannot think of a good alibi. Now, is the kid smart or is he dumb? To say that the boy is guilty, we have to toss his intelligence like a pancake. There is doubt, doubt. I hadn't thought of that. So does the old man lie half of the time? And does he say the truth at the other half of the time? For the boy to be guilty, he must be dumb, then smart, then dumb, then smart, and so on. And also, for the boy to be guilty, the old man must be a liar half of the time and say the truth the rest of the time. You all can reasonably doubt. I'm sold on reasonable doubt. I think I am too. I wanted more talk, and now I've had it. Well, I want another vote. Okay. There's another vote called for. I guess the quickest way is a show of hands. Anyone object? No, let's vote. Let's, let's vote. Let's vote. Let's let's vote. Let's vote. Let's vote. All those voting not guilty, raise your hands. Nine. Guilty. Three. The vote is 9 to 3 in favor of acquittal. I don't understand you people. How can you believe this kid is innocent? Look, you know how these people lie. I don't have to tell you. They don't know what the truth is. And let me tell you, they don't need any big reason to kill someone either. They just don't know how things are. Human life just don't mean as much to them as it does to us. to bed. And she couldn't have had time to put them on. As she said, 
she looked out of the window and at that very moment the murder took place. The lights went out a split second later. Now perhaps this woman honestly thought she saw the boy kill his father. I say she only saw a blur. How do you know what she saw? Maybe she's fast sighted. How does she know all these things? Does anyone think there is still no reasonable doubt? I will always wonder, but there is reasonable doubt. I, am, I don't believe it. Well, does anyone else think that the kid is still guilty? No, I'm convinced now. There is a reasonable doubt. You're all alone. I don't care whether I'm alone or not. I have a right. What's the worst thing that could happen anyway? Well, yes, you have a right. On the other hand, a young boy's life could be changed. We're waiting. Look, what's the matter? You're the person. You made all the arguments. You can't turn now. A guilty man, a murderer, he's going to walk the streets. Stay with me. I'm sorry. I'm convinced now. I don't think I'm wrong often, but I guess I was this once. There is a reasonable doubt in my mind. We're waiting. Your arguments, we're not convinced. We still have time. I gave you my arguments. We're waiting to hear them again. You're not going to intimidate me. It's going to be a hung jury, that's it. Well, we can't do anything about that except hope that sometime, maybe in a few months, why you might just get some sleep. All right. I can't believe this. This can't be real. This trial keeps bringing back the memories. Memories of my little kid. The little kid I lost. Maybe beating him up did not help after all. I lost him. Didn't I? And oh, to think of it. We are going to lose this child too. Oh, the shame. Children deserve chances. I am guilty. The child isn't. All right. They're waiting. Not guilty. Not guilty.